Now we're going to look at a problem where we have an equation with several variables and we'll be asked to solve for one. Solve for y. b times y minus ax equals a. We notice that the only term that has the variable that we're, indicate we're interested in is the first one, b times y. We're going to add ax to both sides of the equation in order to isolate that term. So b times y minus a times x we're going to subtract, um, add that a times x to the left, and we're going to add the a times x to the right. On the left-hand side, these are subtracting out, leaving us with b times y. On the right-hand side, we're not able to put these two terms together. We have to leave them in the present format because they are unlike terms. To solve for y, we note that currently we're multiplying y times b. We're going to use the inverse operation of multiplication, that is we're going to use division, in order to come up with our value of y isolated. b times y divided by b is leaving us with y. On the right hand side we can't simplify any further, and so our value of y can be expressed as a plus a times x all divided by b.